Welcome to the Freelance Portal. Today we are going to show you how to log into the portal for the first time and submit a digital time card. We will cover how to create an account, save your digital signature and then complete and submit a time card. We will also show you to amend a previous time card and resubmit for approval if necessary. First, let's go to the portal website. Once you have arrived at the login page, click Create an account. Type in your name and email address and then enter your mobile number. Don't use a fake mobile number because you will be getting a verification code to it in the next step. Create and re-enter a password and then you are ready to click Sign Up. Next, you will get the verification code to your mobile. Enter the code and click Verify. Once you are in, it's best to first set up your signature before submitting any documents. To do so, click on Signature Setting from the navigation bar. Draw in your signature. You can also use the Type Signature option, but it's not nearly as much fun. And then click Save. Now click Company to link up with the production you are working for. Click the Add icon and then enter the company ID which should already have been provided to you. Click Fetch and the company details will appear. If you don't know the company ID, contact your accounts department. Scroll down, making sure you have pulled the correct company information. Fill in your department and position and click Save. You are now ready to submit your first time card. To do so, click Time Card in the navigation menu. Then click the Add icon. Select Week Ending Date and double check and amend, if necessary, your department and position. If you stepped up this week, this is where you brag about it to the whole world, or possibly just the accounts department. Now start plugging in your hours by clicking the Edit icon. This window can seem daunting. Just make sure to complete the start work and end work times, throw in your meal break, and then you should be okay to click save. Whew, that was the worst part. We know, if only you could go back to the fun signature part. Don't worry, the rest of the week's entries fly by with the handy copy yesterday's time button. Continue copying or entering each day until you have the correct total hours for the week. You can also use the inline editing option and input your hours directly on this screen. Use the attachments section to attach any relevant documents, for example, your invoice. Now, if you feel good and ready to submit the time card, go ahead and click Submit. If you are not ready, just click Save and you can come back to this screen at another time. After clicking Submit, you will get a pop-up window confirming that your time card has been emailed to the production. You can then locate the time card in the Documents section. From here, there are options to view and or print the time card. You can also amend the time card by choosing the Edit option. The time card will then be moved back to the Drafts Time Card section. From there, you can amend and resubmit for approval. Once you have completed all you came here to do, click log out and continue on with your day.